my core. So the practice that I want to share with us all today is actually um, one that um, helps us to resettle our nervous system. And so as we've been talking about, we know that um, obviously trauma, um, as well as stress, can cause us to move into kind of this space of fight or flight um, and causing our mind as well as our body to become activated. And whether that means that we feel um, kind of nervous and jerky, whether we notice that flutter in our stomach, whether we notice the presence of um, what feels like maybe heartburn um, or difficulty breathing or shortness of breath or just, you know, generalized sensations of feeling overwhelmed. Um, this is what we mean by activated. And so when um, things start to become too much, uh, we often shut down, which is more formally known as dissociation. And so when you find yourself kind of in this state of, um, you know, fight or flight, when you find yourself um, in this sense of uh, overwhelm, this can be um, a really helpful technique, which is a breath practice um, that helps us to be able to kind of switch from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic nervous system. So this exercise can help us to move out of that fight, flight, or freeze response by using this breath. Um, and the really cool thing about this breath is that it also activates um, the um, vocal cords through the process of humming. And when we do this, this can instantaneously trigger our vagus nerve that we've been learning about, um, which directly corresponds with our rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system. So as we kind of move into this practice, um, it is a simple breath technique with then a little bit of movement, and we'll probably wind up doing it about five times. So the first most important thing that I want us to do is to find a posture that is supportive of doing some deep intentional breathing. So an upright posture, one that you can kind of sit sort of comfortably. You can also do it standing if that works better for you, um, but one that will allow you to take complete inhales and exhales um, and be able to uh, get the most of this practice. So as we do this, um, paying attention to your posture, maybe going ahead and just sort of rolling your shoulders back and down, kind of wiggling in so that you feel kind of grounded and supported by the seat or the floor beneath you. This is what we call the humming breath. It's sometimes called the bee breath um, because of the fact that what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and then as we inhale on the hold, we're actually going to puff out our cheeks like a puffer fish. And then while we have our cheeks puffed out, we're going to start to hum. So I'm going to kind of model it for us and then I'll guide us through it because it's kind of tricky to guide this breath and do this breath at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and inhale in, holding the breath and puff out our cheeks. Emptying out all the contents of air from our lungs and our body. So as we kind of do this breath, as you're humming, you're going to want to almost imagine as if you are making like the sound of the letter O. Of course, it's not going to sound like the letter O because your mouth is closed and your cheeks are puffed out, but that's sort of how you're going to produce that humming sound. So let's go ahead and repeat that. Inhaling, holding and puffing out your cheeks. Mm. And as you empty out your breath, just allowing your head to fall forward, 
perhaps feeling that elongation of your spine and stretch in the back of your neck and maybe into your shoulders and down your back. And then preparing to come back to center, inhaling, holding and puffing out your cheeks. Mm. And then dropping your head down again, chin to chest if you can. Maybe if it feels good, kind of shaking your head from left to right, and really kind of feeling into that stretch. And now as we prepare to do this breath a fourth time, seeing now um, if you can sort of start to notice and feel the vibration of this breath. Maybe it's in your mouth, maybe it's in your throat, maybe it's even in your chest. So inhaling in, holding. Mm. Dropping your head down, sweeping from left to right. Now this time, as you inhale, allowing the head to come up as if looking up to the ceiling or even behind you if you can, kind of arching your back a little, opening your chest, opening your heart, taking a nice big inhale in, and then back to center, holding, puffing out your cheeks and beginning your hum. Mm. Putting it all together, allowing your head to fall forward, kind of swaying from side to side. If it feels right for you, maybe also inviting your back or your hips to kind of sway. Inhaling, head to ceiling, chest out. Back to center, hold and puff out those cheeks. Mm -hmm. Really seeing if you can feel that vibration spreading from your mouth, down your throat, into your chest. And so that's it. A simple bee breath or humming breath that also involves a little bit of stretching and tapping into the vibration of that breath, which can really help us to not only let go and to relax into the different stress and tension that we might feel in our body, but also helps us to um, break down our activation of the fight, flight, or freeze. So I'm glad you enjoyed and I look forward to sharing more of these strategies with you soon.